Are you enjoying your leisure time? Mm. I know some of y'all watched Jenna Marbles video and was like, who would make a leisure cape for the animals? Me! My life is mess with Zoe! Winslow, 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 come back. Can you stay please? No one actually likes me, they just come for you. You're a star. You're a star. Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, I'm back. So today, what we're gonna be doing is a little bit different. Um, I've been noticing a lot of those videos where it's like answering the web's most asked questions. So I'm gonna do that today, but because I only have like 40 subscribers, I'm gonna do it with bearded dragons in general. So I'm not gonna be asking Google, who's Megan Mulder? Because they're gonna say no one. Winslow, are you gonna join us? Feeling very social today, so hopefully you'll join. All right, so our first little topic is what bearded dragons? So the first one is, what do bearded dragons eat? So bearded dragons are omnivores, which means they eat a mix of vegetables, fruits, and bugs. Now their diet will change with their age. Younger beardies should be getting more protein than greens and veggies. And then older bearded dragons, like Winslow here, after about a year old, they should start getting more greens and vegetables than protein. This is gonna help cut down on obesity and a disease called fatty liver disease, which can be really bad for them. And it's a good way to prevent it just by kind of making sure that they eat their greens. Don't worry, Winslow just had his salad. No, oh, Winslow, Winslow. Stars, what can I tell you? All right, so next one is, what fruits can bearded dragons eat? I actually have a full list on my phone. Favorites of Winslow's personally are blueberries, strawberries. What else do you eat, Winslow? So here is a short little list of fruits that a bearded dragon can eat. Apples, blackberries, blueberries, cherries, cranberries, figs, grapes, melons, peaches, pears, pineapple, plums, prunes, raisins, strawberries, and watermelon. So I got this from thebeardeddragon.org. I will try to link it in the description below. And those are all good fruits. They shouldn't be getting too many fruits though, just because they are high in sugar. All right, next one is what vegetables can bearded dragons eat? All right, and luckily we have another little list that says which vegetables these little guys can eat. Acorn squash, artichoke hearts, bell peppers, raw, bok choy, butternut squash, cabbage, raw, Carrots, celery, cucumber, andave, mustard greens, and yellow squash. They should have a mostly greens diet, so mustard greens, collard greens. And then you can go ahead and sprinkle in like some vegetables like today Winslow had. Celery, blueberries, and collard greens. Yeah, you got, you got hair in your beard. Next is why do bearded dragons dot 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 why do bearded dragons? I looked all over Pinterest to find out how, like, the wire makes this. No one had any idea, so I just had to... Alright, so first question is, why do bearded dragons wave? We've all seen the videos of the beardies waving. So basically with beardies, they are in a dominance-based hierarchy. Waving is believed to be a form of submission when they see, like, a bigger beardy or like I guess a person as well. They're just kind of, you know, submitting. So that's all it is. It's just um, dominant stuff, you know, cause I don't get it, but bearded dragons do. But I mean, it's cute, cute to watch, but it doesn't happen very often. All right, next question. Why do bearded dragons lick? Um, did you just lick? What's up? That was perfect. Thank you, you're gonna get the views. All right, so licking, I think, is just a way to kind of test their surroundings. Are you happy there? Okay, I just want you to be happy. Um, they'll kind of lick things to kind of like test it out or anything like that, or if it's like suspicious to them, they'll lick it just to see like, why do bearded dragons? Oh wow, this putty is terrible. Yeah, I know, so the, put the, the wire would never treat you like this. I'm sorry, I don't make that much money. Why do bearded dragons shed? Well, same reason that even us mammals shed. Uh, they just outgrow the skin that they're in. They're constantly growing. They're going to shed a lot more when they are babies just because they are growing so rapidly. However, they don't really stop growing. They just 
stop growing as fast. So even Winslow here will continue to shed. It's just not going to be as often as say a six month old beardy or something like that that's just starting to grow. But they just shed just because they're, you know, the bodies are growing and the skin isn't growing with them. So they just slough off the skin and start start fresh. If you're wondering, um, lizards don't shed like snakes. Um, snakes should shed in one nice piece. Lizards, however, specifically bearded dragons, don't. They'll usually like shed their head and then their body and then they wait like six months and then finally shed their tail. Um, so it's normal if the beardy is not shedding all at once, just to let you know. All right, let's find out why the, why do the bearded dragons do? Why do bearded dragons hiss? And they just kind of watch you get away and that's kind of a behavioral technique that they have to try to get you away from them. All right, next one, last one for this one. Why do bearded dragons turn black? So this is very similar to why they wave. Well, it can be very similar. There's a couple different reasons why they're turning black. One, if it's sudden, um, it could be that they're scared or that they see another, this is specifically for males, they see another male dragon and they want to try to intimidate them. But this will usually wear off within a couple minutes to a couple hours, that's normal. Um, however, if they are permanently black, specifically their beard, which is black bearding, they are doing that and it's for pro prolonged amount of time. You should probably go to the vet because that can be a sign of illness or disease. And basically it's just a sign of stress, but it can be caused by a bunch of different things. Like I know Winslow gets very, very dark when he sees birds. Winslow does not like birds. But that's okay. Where are you going? All right, let's get the next board, shall we? Winslow's having a diva moment. Please excuse him. So the next little thing is, how do bearded dragons? Let me try to do this with one arm. First off, how do bearded dragons mate? Let's talk about sex, baby. As I'm sure you can tell, Winslow does not have any external genitalia, which is normal in reptiles. They have internal genitalia that'll come out when they're mating. It's all kind of located in their cloaca, which is a small opening underneath their tail. I'm not gonna expose Winslow like that. Hello! Good job, you didn't jump off my shoulder. But they will like lock up and then the, I guess penis is the right word. Well, I don't even care, I don't even care about monetization. I don't even qualify to be monetized. All right, so his penis comes out of his cloaca. He'll stick it in another cloaca and then boom, babies. That's how bearded dragons mate. You know when you, Lizzie just stresses you out? Just the craziest way. All right, next way. Let's see, how do bearded dragons see? With their eyes. It might be a little weird. You'll notice they kind of have eyes almost on the side of their head. Forward facing vision, like, so forward facing vision is actually more of a mammal thing. They actually have them more on the side of their head. So that's why, like, if you put the cricket right here, they usually won't see it, so you kind of have to put it off to their side so that they can actually see it. That's just how they evolved, really. We don't really know why evolution chooses to do things that it does, but it does do the things that it does. So it's very eloquently saying of, I don't know why it's on the side, but it is, and that's how they see. With their eyes. You got eyes, Winslow. How do bearded dragons? might be another sassy answer. Sleep. How do bearded dragons sleep? Like, do you mean like what position do they sleep? Because they can sleep with like their head up against the glass like this. Like, and just, th they can sleep in some crazy positions, don't get me wrong, but they do tend to fall asleep like us. They do need darkness when they fall asleep, just to let you know, so. Like what I do, because I'm a total na night owl is um, I come up editing or something like that. I'll go ahead and put a blanket over Winslow's cage so that he blocks out all that, all that light. They need complete darkness when they sleep. They do not need special bulbs, by the way. All they need is good, old-fashioned darkness. However, if they're bougie, they will try to demand a cat bed. Won't they? I love you. All right, next question. How do bearded dragons drink? Go. Can you not scratch up my arm right now? You're the reason people think I have a cat. And the fact that I keep buying cat beds. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, bearded dragons usually will not use a water bowl, which is, I think is what this question is asking. Um, they usually don't use a water bowl due to the fact that they live in the desert, so it's not really raining, so they don't really need water every day. However, what a lot of people do is that they give their beardies baths instead a couple times a week. Uh, Winslow does really well with four baths a week. I think you guys saw that in a video a little while ago. They won't really use it like a regular animal. You kind of have to put them in it, and I think it's because they can't really see, like, still water. Maybe they just don't know it's there. Um, so they don't really use it unless they like accidentally like walk into it. So you do have to probably bathe them. Some people do manage to train their beardies to use a water bowl, which is always fine. Is that the last one for this one? Yeah. Final board. Do bearded dragons. Do bearded dragons. Pee. Um, bearded dragons do not pee like you and me. Um, sometimes if they do have too much water in them, they will just release the water. However, um, normally they'll release that little white stuff, it's called urate, and that's all the things that they filtered out from the water. So they don't really pee like um, in the traditional way, but yes, they do have a way of getting rid of waste from their water, which is the technical term for peeing. All right, next question. Do bearded dragons bite? Anything with a mouth can bite question that you should really be asking yourself is, was it an aggressive bite or was it food driven? Because sometimes they will miss the food if you're holding it. So if it's food, I wouldn't really worry too much about it at all, because if it's food driven, that means basically they just confuse your hand with food, which does happen from time to time. However, um, you really want to be worried when it's an aggressive bite, so where big, they're hissing, they're black bearding, they're stressed out and stuff like that. That's really the only kind of bite you should be worried about because that means that there's something scared them or that they're scared so you they will bite though they will probably bite you all oh, my pets have bit me before again anything with a mouth can and will bite you next one do bearded dragons drink water yes this goes back to an earlier question drinking water they do not really use water bowls they are much better with baths but yes, they do drink water. I'm pretty sure everything on the earth, except like, no, microorganisms probably count too. Everything on earth needs water. Make sure you're providing them with water or bath. You know what I mean. All right, next question. All right, is this, no, this is our second to last one, friends. Do bearded dragons shed? I think there was one that says, why does bearded dragon shed? Yes, bearded dragon shed, especially babies. They are just sloughing off their old skin, growing into their new skin because they're getting bigger. Last question, actually. Do bearded dragons smell? Honestly, no. Their poop smells. Their poop smells terrible. You will definitely, there's a very distinct odor, but they themselves do not smell what their poop does, and you will smell their poop. People like to think that they do smell though. Like I know a lot of people are like, do they smell? And I'm like, where did that come from? Does somebody know? I just wanna, I just, I just wanna know. Like, where does that come from? Where does that wives' tale come from? Wasn't the witches, I know that. All right, everybody, so that was our video for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's the sound of Winslow scurrying away. So, thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. If you're new here, make sure you go ahead and hit subscribe, like this video. Yeah, like this video, leave a comment down below. If you wanna say hi, hello, how are you? My name's Megan, have fun, be good. And uh, make sure you subscribe. And I will see you guys next week on Monday. Follow us on Instagram at Winslow the Dragon because Winslow just hit 1,300 followers and it's getting spooky, spooky time. So you know that there's going to be Halloween costumes made on this channel. I have like four costumes I want to make for Winslow. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.